Today, teachers and friends, my name is Verlin and I'm from Physics Scotland. Today I'm going to perform a manga titled Crazy by Mini Jones. Crazy? If I'm crazy. Am I crazy? Do I look crazy to you? How would you know what crazy is? Have you ever been crazy? I've never been crazy. I don't know what crazy is. Am I crazy? Why do you think I'm crazy? Just because of what happened to me? Do you even know what happened to me, doctor? Or do you just know what he says on the paper? Lost two children in fire. I know what it says, and I know what it means. Do you even know what it means? Or do you just know what it says on the paper? Do you even know what it means? How could you? Were you there that day? Did you see my life go down in a matter of seconds? Did you ever see my girl? Ever? Then how would you know what happened to me? Has it ever happened to you? I didn't think so. Now let me help you understand the paper a little bit better. I have an everything and what goes everyone. A loving husband, a beautiful house, and wonderful children. I had my two little twins, Maggie and Betty. They could brighten up the worst day. Then, cake the fire. It all happened so fast. It seems like a dream. I wish it was a dream. Then I wouldn't have the faith of letting them go and realizing that they are gone forever because of me. I found the girls upstairs playing with a box of matches. I took the matches and hit them. I know. I did, but I must have missed one. We all went out for now. And I actually fell asleep, which is weird, because I never sleep during the day. I woke up to my oldest daughter, Susan, screaming and crying. I opened my eyes to see that her blonde hair was black. What happened? I asked, uh, suddenly alert. My bed is on fire! She screamed. I left her in bed and ran to the boat. George, this is your sister, Sarah. Get over here right now. My house is on fire. And I said, Megan, Betty, you're trapped upstairs. I got off the boat and my first here. On my way up, the stairs collapsed and I fell, breaking my arm. I kept trying to get out of there and up to my baby, but I couldn't get out with only one good arm. Then George appeared to pull me up. Then he dashed up for the girl. But he didn't get much further than I did before the stairs gave way on him as well. I could hear the girls screaming and crying. It broke my heart, but I realized it was music to me. I'll give to what I heard back. Silence. But it stopped, right? I knew the fire had got them. I was ecstatically depressed. I started screaming like I was crazy. I screamed their names, begging them to start crying again. Anything to let me know they were alive. But I never heard them cry. No. Am I crazy, doctor? What is crazy if I'm crazy? Is crazy losing your children in a fire called have prevented just by checking their pockets and a floor for that one little match you missed? Or by explaining a little bit more about how dangerous it is to play with fire? Is that crazy? No, I'm not crazy. But what is? They found the bodies of my nuns and babies behind the furnace. The furnace! I didn't even think that a rat could fit behind that furnace. But they were there, huddled together with their arms wrapped around each other. 
trying to protect each other from the plague. Why that? Why not me? They weren't even three years old yet. I'm old. I lived a long enough life. But they can't safely see each other. They love us so much. I know what you're thinking right now. You think I'm crazy? But what is crazy? Where is crazy? When is crazy? Why do you think you can tell people they are crazy? How do you define crazy? Who is crazy, doctor? Me or you? Not me. Must be you. Thank you.